Hello everyone and welcome back. Texas Native 00 here. I'm going to be putting some coon stoppers on my uh, deer feeder. Now if you've seen my video on shark's teeth, it's kind of a similar thing, except just a little bit different design. Uh, basically what it is is it puts some sharp edges on the, the legs of the feeder so it keeps the coons. Not everything is coon proof by the way. It uh, deters the coons from climbing the legs, getting up to your control box, tearing up your control box, and or just eating your corn basically. Coons can do a lot of damage to deer feeders, so a lot of people go through a lot of different things to try to keep them from doing it. So here's the coon stoppers. It's basically some sheet metal that's been um, prefabbed, pre-cut, basically here. And then once we get it on, we're going to bend it. These little tabs here at the end are where we're going to affix it to the legs. Read the instructions here. It, it recommends using hose clamps which does not come with hose clamps by the way so you're gonna have to make sure you get the right size but basically we're gonna take this little piece of metal here put it here and that's gonna add a little bit of rigidity when we wrap this around the um, the, the legs of the feeder so let's start the instruction uh, installation and check it out alright so this is my newest feeder that we put up earlier this year you may have seen the video of uh, preseason you know prepping for deer season uh, this is also the same feeder that I shot the big old eight point from on opening weekend gun season with my bow. In fact, there's my deer stand way up there in the trees. That deer was standing over here. That was a fantastic, fantastic deer for, for this area. But anyways, we're going to put this coon stopper here on, on all three legs. The instruction manual says 40 inches off the ground in case you have hogs. Uh, so we want to get it up there. I don't have a tape measure, so I'm just going to eyeball this. Let's get started. All right, there's here's the top. Kind of prefab, pre-curve that. Okay, so the goal now is to bend these up, or bend these uh, little teeth out, I believe, into a saw blade. The instruction says about 60 degrees. So they recommend using uh, needle nose pliers. I agree, just because these little boogers are sharp, so you alternate them back and forth. All right, so I'm finished installing the uh, coon stoppers. I didn't have but four hose clamps for some reason. And when I went to the store, I didn't count, <laughs> right? So I took the hose clamps off the first one and put a few extra sheet metal screws in there in its place. So next time I make it out, I'll pick up some more uh, hose clamps and put these on here. But here's the first one. So you can see that looks pretty treacherous if you were climbing it. And then the last one over here. And there's the hose clamps. This is the uh, little piece of metal that comes with it to reinforce it. And like I said, I only use a screwdriver to tighten those hose clamps down. You know, but it, it recommends a nut driver. And I can see why, I mean, it'll get the extra tightness you need, but I, I was able to torque them down pretty well. Well, anyways, that's coon stoppers. I'm gonna put up my motion camera over here and see if I can't see any of the little critters running with blood all over them. Well, thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more hunting videos. Thanks, y'all.